Hey y'all, um, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. Um, like button, subscribe, um, bell notification, all that other type of stuff. Um, hope y'all are enjoying your winter break. We're about to go into the new year. Um, you know, it's we towards the end of December, we going into January. So I was like, let me do this video on Veganuary. Um, for those of you who don't know what Veganuary is, it's basically where you go vegan for the month of January and, you know, it's Veganuary. Um, I actually got two videos coming for y'all in January, probably it will be the end of January. Um, I got my best friend to go vegan a couple months ago. Um, we still haven't uploaded it yet and she's gonna um, go round two in January, so we'll upload those at the same time, but without further ado, let's get into this video, okay? Okay. Um, just a few things that, um, just a few top tens that I felt like were important going into the January, just some tips, tricks, all that other type of stuff. So the first one is, um, number one is get organized and have a plan. And what I mean by that is, don't make it something extremely complicated where it doesn't have to be. Um, you can be vegan and still keep it simple. Um, have a plan when you go into it. Like, what do you plan on eating? Um, you know, like, what are your flat out? Like, nah, I'm not. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I'm going to be eating. Because I know some people don't like tofu. And if you don't like tofu, you don't like tofu. It just is what it is. You know, don't be out here trying stuff just because it's vegan. If you already know that you don't like it because you've tried it before, because then you just not going to want to be, you know, vegan for the rest of the month. Um, number two, find out which junk food is and isn't vegan friendly, because let's be real, we all be eating junk food. And if you feel like you got to cut out junk food, that's, you know, most people not going to stick with it. That's why a lot of people don't stick with diets. They cut out things that, you know, are part of their typical diet and feel like they're being deprived of something instead of, um, you know, just consuming in moderation. Um, find restaurants in your area that's vegan or have vegan options. Um, I use this app, not sponsored by them. I just really like this app because it showed me, like, all the restaurants in my area that's vegan is called happy cow um and basically they have settings where you can do your dietary restrictions in it um vegetarian vegan gluten-free all that other type of stuff and it'll show you restaurants within a 50 mile radius of you that have um those options available for you so go check that out that's a really good app to use um and the reason i say that is because we all like to eat out sometimes. Nobody likes to cook every single night if they, you know, have the funds and means to not do it. Nobody wants to go in their house and cook every night. You know, sometimes you just want to eat out. And this next one is number four, um, meal prep. Meal prep is very important for someone who's not used to eating a certain way because like this last one it makes you not have to cook every single day um you can just cook a big meal portion it out for the course of you know three five seven days um and you know you don't have to cook every day you have your meal planned out for the next few days so you're not racking your brain trying to figure out what to cook because that is one of the hardest decisions that really shouldn't be that nobody told me about when becoming an adult, figuring out what to eat every single night. So yeah, go ahead and meal prep. Number five, um, find ways to veganize your favorite meals. Again, if you feel like you're being deprived of something, you're not gonna wanna do it. So if you can find ways to, which you can, um, your favorite meals, make those vegan, then, you know, It'll, you're more likely to stick with it through the month if that's your plan. Um, this next one, six, let your family and friends know. And um, I feel like this one 
might be a little bit unexpected. Um, it was actually unexpected to me when I was making this list, but it's just something that came to mind. Um, because when you let your family and friends know, um, if you're around them, then they'll already know that, okay, for this month you're not eating this, so they won't offer you this if they remember you know they won't be like hey you want some chicken you want some of this pepperoni pizza all that other type of stuff you know um they probably just won't offer you food in general because a lot of i found that when i went vegan a lot of people don't know what all is entailed in that so if you let them know um you probably want to explain to them too what that means um that's something that i really didn't do at the beginning yeah, that's number six. Um, number seven, get creative. That doesn't mean, you know, get complex and complicated and run up a bag, buying groceries, you know. Um, don't mean bl you, you're not trying to blow no bag on groceries if you can avoid it. Um, but yeah, get creative with it. Um, make it fun. Make it exciting. Um, they have all types of creative vegan recipes you can go on pinterest find you some internet inspiration instagram you can visit my page i'll link it down below i'll try to remember to link it down below um yeah you could go on my instagram page find some vegan inspiration there um you know just find get creative um make it fun make it interesting find your inspiration somewhere so it isn't something that's boring for you um number eight realize you can veganize anything um i posted a picture the other day it was my dinner and i captioned it um i posted it on instagram i captioned it being vegan don't stop um nothing but animals from dying we still be eating good because we really do like it really didn't it being vegan for me it changed the way i viewed food but it really didn't change what I'm eating besides the fact that I'm using plant-based alternatives when I cook. It's not like I just went on this, um, you know, green juice and, you know, nuts and fruits and, um, you know, just air and acorns and grass and wheat germ. And I, I didn't become that health nut. Um, even though I did go vegan for health reasons, I still, you know, kept my food interesting and, you know, it has taste to it. It has seasoning, you know, all that other type of stuff. It's still good. It's just vegan. Um, number nine, B12 and iron. Now, um, B12, if you're not eating meat, you're not going to get enough of it if you don't supplement it. It's just not going to happen. And it's in it's important in um, your blood maintaining its regular functions and every organ in your body use blood. So you need your blood functioning properly. Uh, so that's definitely a supplement you want to get before you start Veganuary and iron. I myself um, am anemic, but it's also um, it's not impossible, but it's more difficult to get your adequate amount of iron on a daily basis. Um, if you're eating a vegan diet versus if you're eating, um, you know, an omnivorous diet. And if I forget to take these two supplements for, you know, two or three days, then for like the next week, I'm just a zombie. I'll sleep like 12 to 16 hours, wake up for four hours, go back to sleep for another 10. Um, yeah, I just, you're going to feel it. If you're not getting enough iron and B12 in your system, you are going to feel it. Um, you're just going to be sluggish and extremely exhausted, even though you haven't done anything that should exhaust you to that level. So make sure you get your B12 and iron. Um, get those supplements when you go grocery shopping. It's very important. And number 10, um, find a friend to do it with. It makes it a lot easier. Um, any sort of I guess if you want to call it a diet, you can, you know, any sort of diet. Um, it's a lot easier if you have an accountability partner, um, you know, and it's just more fun if you have 
something to do it with and you can you know split up the cooking one person can cook you know this day or this week however you want to do that and then another person can cook this that y'all can split it up by the meal if you want you know um just it just makes it a lot easier a lot more fun um and who doesn't like doing stuff with their friends like like let's be real um but yeah those are just um some of the 10 things that i want y'all to take into veganuary with y'all um if y'all find some more um share those down in the comments some more tips that you think would be helpful um for anybody who might see this um at any given point in time whether it be this veganuary the next the following or even the one after that um just some things that people can take away from this video um, that I didn't put in the video. But that being said, that's all there is to this video. Um, be sure to check out my other videos, um, my Instagram. I'll drop a few more links down below. I'll do a video um, at a different time explaining what those links are because um, some 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 big stuff been happening this month for me. and. I'm going to do a video sharing that. I shared it on my Instagram, so if you follow me there, you probably already know what links I'm finna drop, but I'm going to do another video on that. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see y'all next time for another video, okay? Okay.